What's going on guys? I'm here with a video on the new patch for Marvel's Avengers version 1.3.6 or 1.16 that finally introduces the new feature, the ping system. This nifty feature allows you to do the following, mark various objects, command companions to hack slash smash doors, command companions to prioritize enemies, and more. I'm so glad they finally did this now. That is awesome that we can finally control our companions into doing something that we want them to do. Going over the patch notes, the release timing, it should be out by now since it was released like at least two hours ago. And of course, the top is basically what I already said a second ago. So regarding the full patch notes, we see that items you can ping include enemies, objectives, chests, destructible items, collectible intel, comics, resource crates, health crates, environmental hazards, and rally points. You can also mark down heroes, instruct our AI to punch buttons, shoot triggers, and smash slash hack doors. Awesome. So how does the system work? The ping system is accessible by aiming with the trigger and using the reticle to highlight areas or objects you want to ping. Once highlighted, pressing up on the D-pad will activate a ping notification. When aiming at a pingable object, the reticle will turn red except for when doing a generic location ping. In this case, the reticle will remain white. Pinging interactive areas like hacking stations or smashable doors will direct your AI companions to run over and do the required action. Pinged items will remain pinged to the screen and use a distance indicator when they have moved off screen. All items except enemies will show a ping prompt when targeted. Enemies don't show this so not to disrupt the flow of combat, but don't worry, they've been marked. Dismissing a ping is simple, just aim at the ping item and dismiss UI will pop up. It's worth noting that the ping functionality doesn't extend to doors which require the Avengers to assemble in order to progress. The player must still engage with those terminals so that they maintain control over mission progression. Down to reassemble campaign and Avengers initiatives, it does appear that they have fixed some black screen errors that occurred when vetoing a mission as a timer at zero, when attempting to start a mission while players on a strike team are at a different progression level in the campaign, and an error occurring when attempting a boss layer mission another strike team member does not have. Also, we see fix an issue where players could be knocked out of the world on the alternate visions mission when on their way to fight Taskmaster. Fix a rare issue where infinite loading times occurred when switching between heroes at the hero switcher or war table. That was a big problem, honestly. Good thing they fixed it. Hopefully they fully fixed it. No more bugs. Fix the rare issue where loading into the shield substation zero outpost after unlocking it via the campaign resulted in mission chains like reigning supreme and shield substation zero remaining locked, halting Avengers initiative progress rebalance enemies in the Olympia Archive campaign mission. Down to arson animation, fix the rare issue where black squares would populate on Thor's face when hovering over major artifacts, fix an issue where Hulk's animation will sometimes get stuck when initiating stranglehold from the air, multiplayer matchmaking, fix an issue where a strike team could be stuck in a loading state if another player joined while the host was traveling to an outpost, fix an issue where a quick match as any hero could result in multiple Hulks on a single strike team, really interesting. Down to combat, fix an issue where Iron Man's Magno missiles consume more intrinsic energy than intended, resulting in the firing of two rockets rather than three. Gear, challenges, and rewards, fix an issue where vendor timers would occasionally hit 0000, 000, 000 without refreshing, fix an issue where gear would occasionally not send to the locker when the player's inventory was full. We're still hard at work to fix as many issues as we can, please keep providing feedback to us. This is looking very good. Very good. The devs had a really good week. I'm glad they came out with an actual release date for Kate Bishop, when we can expect to play with her as well as other content, and releasing the patch notes for this week. Really good. Pink system, awesome. As well as letting us to control our AIs to do stuff, awesome. But yeah, that's going to cover it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.